happens is you cook the pancetta till it gets nice and brown like that. And then the chicken goes back in the pan. We're going to cook this all in our... Um, Big cast iron skillet, yes, man. There we I, go. Why not? Don't you love cast iron I skillets? I do. I do. They're an essential, guys. And Honestly, the more you it's use a it, great, the better it gets. That's right. It's a great building block for any kitchen. And every man should have one. Every man needs to know how to make a proper steak. <laughs> right. Cast right. iron skillet. Right. But, <laughs> when, but women can use them too. That's right. But here's what I did want to say. We're going to uh, chop this up. Is This is also one of the important things. This is liquid gold. Yes. So don't ever waste those resting juices. Or it back those, in. those go back in. But now we're going to put in all our aromatics here. So I understand that this is how you mince your garlic. I do. You I go for love, it. You're going to do that and I'm going to chop I some I love rosemary. microplanes. You want it right in there? You want it on the counter, baby? It's going to, you could do it in right in, in the here. bowl. Yes. Okay. I understand you have a different one for every use. And I have a new one I'm going to get you for citrus. Oh yeah, yeah? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What if it's in the book, you'll see. I, I have no relationship to that company. I, I just like their stuff. I love their I just stuff like their... too. I've been using these, these microplane things, these little handheld graters mm -hmm. forever. Yeah. And if you don't like to do a lot of chopping, uh, you know, it's it's just a really quick, easy way to get your garlic done. Right. But heads up, you don't want to put your finger into your recipe. So just be careful when you get down to the well, little numbers. These are so much better than the four-sided grater. Yep. Because a little bit of you went into every dish. Oh my God! When you use those old four-sided, you know what we mean? Those evil box graters. Yeah, it suddenly looked like Ooh. there's murder in the kitchen. Yep. This it was. Oh this gosh. Thumb has gone that into really many a, a dish, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we have rosemary just chopped. We have, right. And the garlic you want, the more you mince it, the more flavor you get out that's of it. That's right. So that's what we minced it. And some and hot crushed pepper. So you just throw all that mm, on top of there. Gotcha. Okay, here comes my Rachel trick. Now, this is so interesting. Um, <laughs> my cousin's wife, Heather, who doesn't cook at all, told me this trick and said she learned it from Rachel. Oh, I'm going to do the Julia thing. I just threw <laughs> something on the floor. <laughs> Julia used to do the that. The garbage rolls right there. Oh, there's some garbage. Well, what was I thinking? Two sides up. Okay. All right. So, if you've ever had to slice a million cherry tomatoes, you're like, what a drag. What a drag. So, here's the Rachel trick. So, you go like this. I like a serrated knife with cherry tomatoes. And then you just, isn't this fantastic? Isn't that great? And you probably do it all the time on your show. You know, and if you're a mom with, with a little one, it's also a great way to have your grapes as well. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's yes. a good one. Yes. Oh, I right. have a pit bull, so I don't have a lot of grapes the for her. The pit bull's not into <laughs> grapes. Okay, so we tuck these little guys in. There we go. Oh, and one thing that was very important that I didn't address because I didn't brown these because we already had some brown is you season your meat before you cook it. Absolutely. If you wanted to see how why that's so important, what try making a steak and seasoning one before or cut it in half. Season half of it before you cook it and half half of it after you cook it and taste the two side by side, night and day. Or one, just trust her. Don't ruin half a steak. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing that will leave us. It'll taste like a toupee, right? right? Yeah, it'll taste like it. the one that you seasoned ahead of time will taste like this goes in a 350 oven for 20 minutes and I think we have And one. we have one roasted and resting back here. Yeah. Let me see if there's one in the oven too. Right. Yes, Hang right. On. Oh, this is such, I got it, I got it, I got it. Such a simple dish, but it's so good. I got it, I got um, it. But anyway, the steak that you seasoned ahead of time will um, taste like really good steak. <sighs> and the steak that you put, wow. Boy, you were good at that. Not bad, right? You know, you did. You you never worked in restaurants, but that was a restaurant. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I grew up working in restaurants from before I could have working papers. Did you really? My mom ran restaurants for 55 years. Oh, my I God. I grew up working in restaurants well, you got before the moves. I had working papers. You got papers. the moves. <laughs> okay, so here's the one that's rested for 10 minutes. Yeah, this is cool enough. Is that cool enough? Yeah, yeah. they really look the same. But now, re resting um, is very important with all meat uh, because the juices redistribute. So you, you do this, you Again, pop it in the oven. Oh, see, this one is oh, just you know, came out of the oven. Look at that guy. He's been we, sucking it back up. We forgot the oh, olives. Oh, we forgot the olives. Okay, but let me just mention, these are... Um, Oil cured black olives. Which are dense and raisiny and wonderful. But um, you want to buy them with the pits in, because if you buy them pitted, they sort of dry out and become boring. Yeah. So um, we don't have one. These are all pitted, so I'm going to show you with a... It's the same with any olive. You just... or you could Give it a, a good crack. You could, you, you, this is, you could do this with a cherry, too. Yep. They Give also it a have. Good they also, and it's sort of fun because then this pops right out, and there you go. Ta-da! Yes. How can you fun? Bang, bang.